difference between moist versus dry heat cooking methods. Now the way that this lab is going to work is there are going to be half the tables in the classroom are going to be doing the dry cooking methods, while the other half of the table are going to be doing moist cooking methods. I'm going to show you all three so you can understand all three concepts. All you can see I have a plate here with the three different types and you guys will get to see the final products on this plate in the end. So what I've done is got four chicken breasts here. This one I'm going to pan fry, this one I will saute, and this one will get boiled and simmered. I'm going to focus on the dry heat cooking methods first. So for my pan fry, I'm actually going to leave this chicken breast whole. I am not cutting the pan fry breast up. However, the saute, I do need to do a small dice. So I'm going to go ahead and dice this chicken breast up, and that's going to make it a lot easier when it's actually cooking in the pan. Okay. Now, what's the difference between a pan fry and a saute? Well, the first difference that we can see is that I'm cutting up the saute chicken breast, whereas the pan fry I'm going to be leaving whole. That's going to make sure that the pan fry is getting a nice crispy outside, where the saute is actually going to be crisping up on all sides. So that is the first big difference. The other difference is going to be the amount of oil, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that now. So for the pan fry, which is going to be in this pan over here, my recipe is telling me that I need two tablespoons of oil. So for this pan right here for my pan fry, I'm going to put in two tablespoons of oil. One and two. For my saute, my recipe is telling me that I only need one teaspoon of oil, which is definitely a smaller amount. In addition, I'm going to be adding a little bit of extra oil onto my chicken breast for my pan fry. And I'm just going to be giving that a light rub. So this is my pan fry breast over here. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on top and rub it around on the top and the bottom. And I'm ready to add these to my pan. So my pan fry breast has oil on it and it goes into two tablespoons of oil. Whereas my saute does not have oil and it's only going into one teaspoon. So there's the big difference between my two different dry cooking methods, the amount of oil that is being used. I'm gonna go ahead and cook these on a medium to medium low temperature and we're gonna show you guys what they look like as we cook them. Okay, so I've got my two pieces of chicken here cooking. Over here in our saute pan you can see almost all of the oil that we did put in the pan is gone and the pieces are starting to get golden brown on all four sides. You can see there's not nearly as much splatter, whereas if we come over here to the pan fry, there's definitely a little bit more oil splatter, and we still have some oil in our pan here, okay? This is also still a full piece of chicken, but we are getting just as golden brown on the outside. When we cut it open, you'll see the big difference between the saute and the pan fry. While these continue to cook, let's go prep for our moist cooking. For our moist cooking method, I have two small chicken breasts here. I'm going to go ahead and dice those up, but before I do that, I do want to prep my chicken broth. So I have one cup of hot water here, and these are going to be chicken bouillon. Now chicken bouillon is basically just a powdered version of chicken broth, and to make it into chicken broth, we add it into a cup of water. One packet plus one cup of water equals one cup of chicken broth. So I'm going to add that in, and then I'm gonna go ahead and give this a stir with a spoon that I don't have. There we go. I stir with a spoon there. And this is going to be our chicken broth that we will use for our moist cooking method. In the meantime, I also need to go ahead and cut up my chicken breast. So I'm going to do a small dice like I did with my others. I'm gonna pull off this piece of fat. I don't want that on there. Cut it off, there we go. Okay, right. and we're gonna go ahead and give this a dice. Now we are going to put this in our pan and give it a nice golden brown color before we add in our chicken broth. And that's just going to help make sure that our chicken is fully cooked, as well as give it a nice little bit of a crispy outside. The reason why we're adding chicken broth to this is because that is going to be our moisture for our moist cooking method. And we are going to bring this to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer and let the chicken cook that way. When you guys go to taste this in the end, you will notice a big difference between the chicken that has been cooked as a moist cooking method in the chicken broth that we just prepped versus the chicken that has been cooked or sauteed and pan fried as our dry heat. Okay, so our sauteed chicken pieces are done. They're nice and golden brown. And I go ahead, went ahead and cut one in half to make sure it was cooked through. I'm gonna put this onto my plate where it says saute. You wanna make sure it stays in the right section. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this pan and switch over to my small pot because this is what I'm going to be using for my moist heat cooking method. Now for my moist 
easy cooking method, I'm going to start off with my chicken and I'm going to go ahead and put my diced chicken in the bottom of this pan with just a splash of oil. And it says one tablespoon. Go ahead and let this get a little bit golden brown and then we will add in our chicken broth. Alright, so my pan fried piece is done here. I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the pan. I need to cut this one up before I put it onto my plate. So I'm going to grab a knife and just cut this into some small pieces here. This might be a little bit easier with a fork, but I've got a pair of tongs handy, so I'm going to use that. Now you'll notice when looking at this one versus the saute piece, when we cut into it, we now have multiple sides of the chicken that are going to be not as golden brown, whereas the saute is golden brown on all sides. If I pull open this one, you'll see that it is not as golden brown on two of the sides, which means it might have a little bit more moisture in it. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and add this to my pan fry section of my plate. And the last one that we're waiting for now is our boil and our saute, which is our moist heat cooking method. For our moist heat cooking method, we've got this sauteing in just a little bit of oil here. And again, we're just trying to get this nice little bit golden brown before we go ahead and add in our chicken broth. So we're trying to give this cooked chicken a little bit of a pre-cook. Go a little bit longer until I don't see this pink on the outside. So for my moist heat cooking method, I have just a little bit of oil left in here and there's a little bit of golden brown on that chicken to know that I'm ready to add in my chicken broth. And we're going to make sure this comes to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to turn down our heat and then let it simmer for a couple minutes. And that's when our chicken will be done and ready to go and add it to our plate for our final moist heat cooking oven. Okay, so my chicken has been boiling in here and I know that it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my heat and then I am ready to add this to my plate. Now I'm going to drain all, as much water as I can. Each table should have a plate that looks like this. Again, separated out by the three different cooking methods that we did today. Two of them are dry heat, our pan fry and our saute. And then the last one is our moist heat, moist heat cooking method, which is our boil and simmer, which is the one we're putting on right now. Now you have the opportunity to try all different pieces. Use the piece of paper that your teacher gives you to record your information and your findings, and then go ahead and enjoy. Have a really good discussion with the people at your table about the different textures as well as the different flavors that you guys are tasting, and this will kind of help you get a better understanding of moist heat versus dry heat cooking methods as knowledge that you can carry into your future. Thank you.